this is how I play Claw Pain Free. Pick up the controller like you normally would. Take your right hand off the controller. From here on out, your left hand supporting the weight of the controller. Take your index finger, place it between A, B, X, and Y, or whatever series of front-facing buttons you may have. And this next step is very important. Take your right middle finger and place it on the bumper in your right ring finger and place it on the trigger. A lot of people in a lot of tutorials are going to tell you to place your right uh, middle finger on the trigger. And yeah, that's not comfortable. There's quite a bit of stretch between your index and middle finger. So middle finger, bumper, ring finger, trigger. And from here on out, just kind of place your hand down and on top of the controller, whichever way, whichever angle feels comfortable. Your thumb's not going to rest exactly like it was before on the analog stick. Your hand's not going to be underneath the controller. It's going to be on top. And this is how I play claw pain free. I'll show you here on the PlayStation controller. Now, the angle will vary depending on you and also the controller you are using. I find here on the PlayStation controller that my hand is a little bit more perpendicular to the ground, whereas with the Xbox controller, my hand is a little bit more parallel to the ground. But really, that's going to be the biggest difference across controllers and across you and how your hand works. In this method, I'm showing just these two, you know, next gen controllers right now, but it works pretty much with any controller you can think about, even if the analog stick and the buttons are swapped. I switched from playing normal to playing this method back in Black Ops 3. And it really only took me a couple of weeks to get this down. And of those couple of weeks, the biggest learning curve was the analog stick. It wasn't even pressing the buttons at all. It was the analog stick. So don't beat yourself up. You're gonna learn how to play this way much faster than you think. A couple of questions people have. One, what do you do with your pinky on the back side? And my pinky just kind of free floats. It just kind of kind of does whatever. I don't try to support the controller with my pinky. If there's any support coming from my right hand, it's from pressure going kind of sideways on the controller. And the second question or concern a lot of people have is what if I have short, inflexible, unflexible hands? Work on the angle at which your hand is at. It might be more comfortable for you to play it more of kind of like a keyboard angle with your hand pretty much parallel to the ground. Or maybe it works better for you to have your hand you know, underneath the controller. I don't know. The angle is going to make the biggest difference, assuming that you're doing the double fingers on the back. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And while you're down there, make sure to click the first link in the description below. It's a link to my Twitch channel, streaming four days a week. So go ahead and follow that so you don't miss out on any of the live claw gameplay. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me and Griff Griff over here. God bless. <laughs>